Hello and welcome to a quick introduction in voice hygiene. In our research paper from 2003, we concluded that this can be done by the doctor in four and a half minutes after a diagnosis of pathology has been made and as a supplement to the medical treatment. In our com coming addendum, we will describe the pharmacological treatment used. Position. There is no doubt that the correct position for talking and speaking is very important. We present a normal standing person. What is obvious here is that the lungs are free, the shoulders relaxed, and the abdominal muscles can work because he is standing. The doctor can correct this position very easily in the clinic. Correction. If the body isn't in the correct position, the larynx cannot function. The picture shows how the muscles of the outer area of the larynx. The area around the larynx has to be adjusted for the muscles to be relaxed and create the optimal area for phonation as a part of the positional correction. Other. The profiles of the tongue with various vowels, another part of the upper airways that cannot function correctly is the tongue if the body is not in the correct position. That is why consciousness about the position is so necessary. Accents of diaphragm. Professor of phonetics Sven Smith developed a method to train the diaphragm to get to subglottal air pressure under control during voicing. In the clinic, it is easily seen if a person has a correct position diaphragm during intonation. You can test the function of the diaphragm with a cough, for example. The idea of the accent method is based on rhythm training to make uh sounds in slow up to quick tempos, lago to allegro. Training. In the book on the accent method made by two pupils of Sven Smith, the basic training for voice hygiene of accents of diaphragm are presented. In the clinic, we have a good experience with showing the patient how everybody can make sounds and how everybody can train at home with vowels, especially a, uh, but also other vowels in order to optimize the space in the pharynx and relax the tongue. Other. This method can be used also for text training with rhythms in reading, and it can be used for singing training in scales with all vowels. In this way, patients can get basic consciousness about airflow during voicing, which is new knowledge to most of them. Intonation pattern. This picture is a chromography which shows the vocal folds in time. It starts adducted, and the phonation begins almost halfway through. Intonation patterns are very well defined with chromography. It takes a few duty cycles of the vocal folds to start moving. On chromography, you can see if the intonation is too hard or too soft. Other. We have a mixing experience with a setup called Dr. Vox. You blow into a bottle filled with water where it is possible to adjust the water pressure. If you have a correct intonation, the bubbling will start. Resonance. In this picture, you have the larynx area, but you also have the mouth and the post-nasal area, which are considered our resonance areas. As for the jaw, of course, it has to be relaxed, so the area for resonance is optimal. The tongue. The tongue has different positions for different vowels. We present what was studied in 1960 and we will leave a link in the description for a colleague of ours that has made an MRI of a phonating singer. If you look at the link, the trained singer hardly ever closes the tongue against the back wall because that reduces resonance. Other. Dr. Vox has a mask where you, without disturbing your surroundings, can train your vowels. The picture shows the bottle where you can regulate the pressure uh, with more or less water, and the top where you can regulate the pressure in the mouth to the bottle. 
The mask is intended to be fixed with a rubber band to the neck, so you can train vowels during air pressure. Conclusion We went to Blackwell Bookstore and asked them to find literature on voice treatment that was evidence-based with randomized control trials, and nothing was found. But they suggested to read the book called The Voice and Voice Therapy, 10th edition, because it was listed under evidence. In the book, there is only case stories, which has nothing to do with statistics. We will come back to the basic pharmacological treatment in relation to mostly reflux, allergies, and infections. Based on our house speed films, combined with blood samples and swaps for bacteria and virus. Thank you for watching.